Voters in Springfield could be asked to approve a new sales tax this November. Rob Macko is in the Alert Center with the details on how that tax money would be spent. Rob. Well, Paul, they're still working on that, deciding that, but this proposed tax would replace one that's currently on the books. Right now, a three-quarter cent sales tax funds the police and fire pension fund. Now, this tax will expire at the end of March of 2025, so this coming March. So the 30-person Citizens Commission on Community Investment met again today, as they've been doing since April. They're going to meet again in two weeks, and then they'll submit a final report to the City Council on July 2nd. The commission is proposing a new tax with two components. The first one, one quarter cent would go to the police and fire pensions, salary increases for police officers and firefighters and other public safety items. Now this would raise an estimated $15 million a year. The second part of the tax would be a one half cent tax which would go to community projects, recreation, roads and infrastructure and investing in the next generation, but these projects have not been selected yet. Now this part of the tax would raise $30 million a year. This tax would last for 10 years. That police and fire tax would be permanent, we should mention. And community members would reevaluate projects for this community tax every four or five years. One of the things that we know is important is to keep Springfield vital and make sure that it's an attractive place for our kids and our grandkids, so they want to stay here and raise our third generation here, as well as our ability to attract talent into our city and to fill those jobs that we have and to keep our city vital. Commission members say these projects would align with the 30-year forward SGF comprehensive plan, which is considered a blueprint for the city's future. Now, these are only recommendations. City Council doesn't have to accept the findings of the commission, and they can make changes to them. But they do have a deadline of August 27th in order to get this tax proposal on the November ballot. At the Alert Desk, Rob Macko, KY3 News. Thank you, Rob. The